The following video is for informational purposes only. Proceed with the suggested repairs at your own risk. This video is part of a comprehensive 11 chapter series detailing single venous service. Servicing venous requires special tools. The seasoned BMW techs at Bomb Tools will help you choose the right tools for the models you work with, whether it's a single or double venous on a BMW or any other European car you're repairing. The Bomb Tools guys have it, or know where to get it. German Automotive Special Tools since 1959. That's all we do. Now let's join Angelo Campana for an excerpt from his Single Venos Service Seminar. Today we'll be covering Venos Part 1, which will include what Venos is all about as a simple single Venos system. That is, what makes it operate? some of the pitfall diagnostics, how it operates, and the start of resealing the venos to restore the original factory performance. This service will require special factory repair information, specialty BMW tools, and strong technical training to get the job done right the first time. What we'll be starting off with is the simplest form of Venos and slowly run through the entire gamut and range of its evolution and technology. But first, we got to get educated to what the hell is that? So, what is Venos? Well, that's Venos, or a picture of it, which we will dissect so you'll know every in and out of this single Venos system. First of all, fellow techs, we have performance, torque, idle characteristics, and emission reductions, which are improved by variable camshaft timing, or VANOS. Now, VANOS is a German acronym which is really, really long, you really don't need to know it, and it doesn't really matter. Just think of it as variable valve timing. Got it? Get it? Good. The VANOS unit is mounted directly on the front of the cylinder head and it adjusts only the intake camshaft timing from the retarded position to the advanced position. So you ask me, well, what makes this work? Well, three things make this work. Oil pressure, good, clean oil condition and pressure. Electronic components such as the Vano solenoid and the CMP, or the camshaft position sensor. Third of all, the DME, the Digital Motronic Electronics, the Electronic Control Unit, or the brain. Simply put, that DME controls the operation of the Vano solenoid, which in turn regulates the oil pressure required to move the control piston, or the Vano's piston, or the spooling piston. It's a simple on and off function of this particular single Vano system. You can't find something as simple as this. Remember, it's going to be on or it's going to be off. First and foremost, before understanding the workings of a Vano system, you got to remember that everything electrical and electronic starts at the battery, or as I rant on, B plus and grounds. Now, let's not be spilling any electrons on the floor before you get started, or worse, harm yourself and others around you. Let's take a look at this battery. Well, this is probably a good connection at the battery. No doubt, this is a bad connection, or at least I think it is, I don't know about you, and could likely cause an explosion when attempting to service the battery, which in turn you'll blow up real good. So, most important, Always use proper procedures when servicing a battery. On a side note, I think I should mention about the batteries installed in the following BMWs. By the way, I'd probably write this down if I were you, because you don't want to foobar anything when replacing one of these batteries in these newer model BMWs. First of all, 2002 and newer 7 Series, E65 and 66. Generally, this is where it starts. 2003 newer 6 Series, E63 and 54 chassis. 
2004 and newer 5 Series, E60 and 61. Your 06 and newer 3 Series, your E90, 91 and 92. Your 07 and newer X5 Series or E70 chassis. And then you have your 2008 and newer X6 Series or E71. Now, what's this all about as far as batteries regarding these particular models? Registration of the battery when you replace the battery. It's a must on these newer BMW models. Also, don't forget while you're at it, check the AC ripple on the charging system. Just take this important note. System electronics do not like AC ripple and will cause all sorts of weird and wild things to happen. For instance, the DME going stupid thus causing a very possible performance issue, especially related to the Venos operation. Now, take note that when it comes to Venos operation, engine RPM, engine load, and engine temperature, these are the three criteria used to determine Venos activation. The DME monitors the final stage output control and the signal from the CMP or the camshaft position sensor for the Venos operation. So let's cover what and how the Venos works in relationship to the retard and advanced functions. Here's an example of a CMP. This is the camshaft position sensor, the proper acronym CMP. It's triggered digitally by the shutter wheel connected to the camshaft snout. Now, guys, this is a very simple example to make things just a little more clearly for the newbies out there because everybody's got to learn this. Trust me, it's going to get more complicated as we go along. Thanks for watching. This video was brought to you by BTU Service Solutions, a division of Bomb Tools Unlimited, Euro Diagnostic Resources, and Euro Auto Training. We are focused on helping you and your auto repair business thrive. We're eager for your feedback, your comments, and your suggestions. Send us an email, comments at euroautotraining.com.